So this is the tutorial of how to render on Spacem. So first, just do a simulation, like I did here of Mars vs. Earth. But this one it's not going to become a video. Then run the simulation and change stuff, but ill. Put this part in x6 speed. BQ's this is boring. Then there's the new feature they added in 0.3.2. And that is the record replay button. But we are not going to use that in this video. You can change the solver. On ice, it kind of collides. After touching, it's, it goes all the way into it. But that's your choice. And the particle count too. When you render on ray marching around 50,000 particles, it's already great. BQ's particles are like a fluid. Instead of a particle, then you can change the view. For example, path view, velocity view, density view, etc. Then after that you need to change the renderer thing. Where it says real time, just change that to ray marker. It would show these settings. But even though they seem difficult, they are easier than you think. Let me explain it to you. The iteration count is for the amount of initializing and motion blur. Iterations it would do, the more, the better quality, but more the time. For the block size, is for rendering. More block size is faster, but lower. Quality, shutter angle, ah, really. Now what it actually is lol. Filter width, well, the width of the filter, that's it. An ISO value is for the brightness, I would recommend. Keeping it on default, BQ's putting it too high can make it too bright. And then you start processing, and just wait until you get to the point you wanted, end the simulation, and you have it.